Navajo Nation is the largest Native American territory in the United States. Its 350,000 people are spread across 17 and a half million acres in three states. But for all intents and purposes, they live in an entirely different country from the rest of us. The unemployment rate is 42%, and nearly half the population lives below the poverty line. The problems of alcoholism and suicide persist. In our Sunday Spotlight, NBC's Gotti Schwartz rides along with one Navajo program that aims to help its people reconnect with their past while searching for a better future. Across the sweeping Navajo Nation, there have always been those born to ride. And for generations, Navajos have harnessed that power on horseback. But now for some, horsepower is giving way to pedal power. Yeah! Getting on a bike is the same way as getting on a horse, because when you're on a bike, you're like free. Every year, Claudia Jackson organizes a 300-mile bike ride that draws hundreds of Navajo riders of all ages. It's called the Tour de Sihasin, or Hope. And it's brought a different kind of energy to the communities. There's a bike revolution happening. <laughs> it's a chance for some community bonding and some fun. But there are other reasons Jackson organizes these rides. A lot of them will say they're fighting alcoholism, they're fighting mental issues, they're fighting trauma. Some of the kids come where they've witnessed or know of a family member that's committed suicide. A suicide rate that is more than three and a half times higher than any other ethnic group in the U.S., with 43% of Native Americans living in poverty, nearly triple the national average. Two years ago, we had a young kid that joined us, never really ridden a bike. And, and who was that? Who was This that? was Nigel, and um, they wanted to find somebody he could ride with. And that is how 14-year-old Nigel James met Vincent Salabai. <laughs> what was it like first riding with him? Slow. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, kind of excited. I could do some crazy stuff, but I wasn't fast. Vincent had been mountain biking for years, but what he saw in Nigel was special. A rodeo rider who rode a mountain bike like a horse. Getting the flow rhythm, uh, especially when they're galloping, mm -hmm. it's like you can flow with them, and that's how I feel when I'm going down the trail. Good? Yep. They ride with quick bursts of speed over steep, sketchy terrain testing themselves over the same rugged canyons as their ancestors. Good, good. Ready. All with a native skill I tried really hard to match. Oh! 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 These guys are crazy! If you had to describe this to people that, like, they don't bike, they're not from the Navajo Nation, uh -huh. what's it like being out here? On the reservation, it's really hard. Some of us don't have running water. Some of us don't have jobs. It's really hard for us to get by sometimes. When we ride out there, it gets the negative energy out of right. us. Rediscovering their legacy and their land. It's kind of like riding the, the iron horse <laughs> to check out the land and the old trails that our people used to use way before us. A tribe within a tribe blazing new trails through a timeless place. For Sunday Today, Gotti Schwartz on the Navajo Nation.